The Express Vote Universal Voting System Terminal is a new piece of equipment purchased by the state of Nebraska to replace the outdated Automark Voter Assist Terminal. The Express Vote is a federally mandated piece of equipment designed to allow voters with disabilities the ability to vote independently and privately. Here is how you will set up the Express Vote on Election Day morning. First, locate the Express Vote in its black nylon carrying case. Bring the Express Vote to a table in the voting area that will afford a user privacy. Remove the black power cord from the side accessory pocket and set it to the side. Open the case. Firmly grip the Express Vote on either side and gently lift it from the main compartment. The Express Vote weighs 25 pounds, so it can be lifted with or without assistance. Insert the black power cord into the back of the unit and plug the power cord into an electrical outlet. Then pull the silver metal stand out from its locked position. Tilt the Express Vote back onto the stand and arrange the cord. Remove the black barrel key from the Express Vote envelope located in the side accessory compartment. Use this key to access the panel on the upper left side of the unit. Open the door and turn the unit on by pushing up on the rocker switch. You'll hear two beeps. The rocker switch will return to the middle or neutral position. Close and lock the panel door. Locate the election code in the Express Vote setup instructions found in the Express Vote and Voter Assistance section of the Election Manual. At the prompt, type in the code. This code is case sensitive, so use the Shift key when necessary. Be aware that the touchscreen response is delayed during this process, so avoid typing too fast. The Express Vote is now ready for voting. Any voter may use the Express Vote to vote privately and independently. If you recognize that a voter needs to or wishes to use the Express Vote, process the voter as you would any voter using Book 1 and Book 2. Escort the voter to the Express Vote unit. Explain to the voter that to initiate their voting session, you will be inserting the ballot activation card, which is the special Express Vote ballot paper, and selecting their ballot from the menu. With the cut corner up and to the right, Insert the ballot activation card into the Express Vote feed tray. Next, select the proper ballot from the menu on the screen and confirm it is the correct ballot on the resulting screen. If you've selected the wrong one, you can go back and correct your choice. The voter may now vote using the touch screen or the detachable keypad called the Accessible Voting Console. The touch screen can be adjusted for size of type, brightness, and contrast. The keypad on the side of the unit is attached by Velcro. Grip firmly with two hands to detach. The headphones must be inserted into the headphone jack in order for the keypad to be engaged. The accessible voting console, or keypad, has raised keys which are marked in Braille. If a sight-impaired voter cannot read Braille, the keys feel like the direction in which they point. Use the black diamond-shaped screen button to turn the touchscreen to the privacy mode. Use the green round repeat button to repeat the audio. Speed up or slow down the audio with the purple tempo button and adjust the volume with the orange volume button. There is also a pause function as well as a button to return the voter to the home screen. 
The voter sets their own pace when using the express vote to mark their ballot. The voter can move backwards or forwards through races, change selections within a race, and check their selections on the summary screen. The voter's choices are not printed onto the activation card until the voter presses the Print Ballot button. Once printed, the ballot will be ejected. Pull the ballot from the feed tray and place it into its special privacy sleeve. Deposit the sleeve with the ballot inside into the ballot box in the presence of the voter.